Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about hiking shorts and we're getting down to the nitty gritty of the good, the bad, and the ugly. different pairs of underwear or shorts that I bought and I've hiked through spring, summer, fall, and winter. I've worn them on day hikes and multiple hikes and kind of found out what works for me. So I'm going to show them to you, find out what works for you. If you've seen any of my videos, I tend to not hike in leggings very often. Um, part of it is because of the terrain, part of it is because our weather um, in Southeast Alaska, I just prefer to wear hiking pants that vent so I can cool off. And so I've gone through hiking shorts to see which ones work best um, for the seasons that I'm hiking in and for the pants that I wear. First up on the list is these Ex Officios. They are bikini cut. A little brief. These babies won $23.50. Okay. These are a nylon elastin blend. There's an antimicrobial treatment on these, um, which helps with the odor control. They are super breathable and they're super lightweight. This particular pair is a complete seamless cut, which I found to be very comfortable, um, with, especially when you are hiking with uh, some pants that are a little bit snugger than others. They have a super soft waist and the underwear does tend to creep a little bit when you are wearing pants um, that are snug. Um, so that is to say they don't necessarily give you a wedgie, but they do tend to creep up. As far as the odor control, there is minimal order. There is minimal order um, on. The odor tends to be minimal, but they can't compete with wool. So just bear that in mind when you're going on a longer two to three day extent. They look like huge greedy panties. <laughs> um, these are a size small. Because of the blend, they're not going to be as odor resistant as wool, but you can wash and dry them really quick and easy and be ready to go. Next up is the cool and the bikini cut size small. The cool bikini cuts are a nylon spandex blend. The mesh material makes it highly breathable and lightweight for hot hiking days, high activities, and for comfort. The waistband is a little bit on the thinner side and I find that the seams on the side cut into my, my sides a little bit and the leg openings with it being this smaller um, ribbed material can kind of can tend to cut in also. So not being wool, these are treated with a, a stay fresh material um, that helps with odor control. And just like the ex officios, because they're super lightweight and mesh, the, the washing and drying time is super fast. So it's not much of an issue if you just need to switch them out um, every couple days. Um, these tend to stay put really well and don't give me wedgies when I'm wearing them with my hiking pants. These run $22. Next I'm breaking out the icebreakers. These are boy short style which is uh, my preference. These are merino wool, nylon, and lycra blend. The nylon and the lycra help with holding its shape and it makes it a really soft wool blend. These are a nice low waist cut and the materials really really soft and it does hold its shape really well as far as being made of wool. I like the waist because it's a little bit wider and it doesn't cut in. Um, I like to wear them a little bit shorter because once you get um, like your buttons and your waist and then your hip belt and you just get all these things all in one area, um, I prefer to not have these digging in also. As far as the um, any odor, it's pretty comparable to other merino blends and it's good for a, a two or three day hike. The legs on these um, don't have a ribbing that holds things. So the, the 
the leg openings can ride a little bit up on your cheeks. Not a really full wedgie, but things can get a little bit on the cheeky side. They are really thin and I like that. I can wear them in the spring hikes. Might be a little bit too warm for the summer, but um, they're one of my favorite pairs. Price for this is $40. Next up, we have my Smart Wool in a boy short cut. These are a blend of merino wool, polyester, nylon, and elastane. So there's a lot going on as far as the stretch keeping the shape and odor control and being um, an active wear short. I got these in a size small and these are a slim fit. They sit lower on the hips and I like the fact that there's no seams on the sides to dig in and they have a lot of stretch and give. The two day test um, show that they don't hold on to odors and as far as wedgie factor, they don't give wedgies. However, the part that I didn't like about them is um, I have a more athletic leg. My, my thighs tend to be a little bit thicker maybe than the models that were shown and seams on the thighs, they tend to roll up and that would get really annoying more when we are on hikes, um, wear them kayaking and they just kind of like would ride up and dig in. So that was my biggest complaint about wearing these. They aren't my favorite hiking shorts, but they were fun to test out. And these run $40. Next up is Ordovox hiking shorts in the boy shortcut. These ones are 100% wool. They are super soft. These Ordovox are actually softer than the icebreakers, but because they don't have the nylon elastin, they don't hold their shape as well. And so definitely after a good day of hiking, they tend to be a little bit looser, um, but it's not a deal breaker. It's just something to bear in mind. Once you wash them and dry them, they do go back to their original shape. What I liked about these is the wider waistband that doesn't dig in at all. And it sits low on the waist. So um, it's not an issue with um, pants waist and backpack waist. And I like that there is no front seam. Because of the seam on the back and the gusseted crotch, there isn't a lot of moving around. So you don't really get wedgies in these at all. So the fact that they're 100% merino wool, the two day test that we did, they um, rank the highest. And they do wash really quickly, but being wool, they're gonna be a little bit longer to dry. These ones I do wear probably the, the most of all of these and I've washed them at least 15 to 20 times and they have held up really well. The Ordovox run the highest of all of the shorts and I bought these for $50. All right, last up is the Picture Organic in boy shorts. They are actually boy shorts. Um, so if you're looking for these in female cuts, just go to the men's line in Picture Organic. What I like about these is they are longer leg and they don't do any rolling. They don't do any sliding around. They don't give me wedgies. Um, they have a really nice wide waistband and it does sit a little bit lower on my hips. The fact that they're polyester and not wool, they're not gonna be at all comparable as far as odor control, um, but they are super fast drying and so you can take them off at the end of the night or in the morning, wash them, dry them, and they'll be ready to go pretty quickly. These run $20 off of Picture Organic website and these are one of my favorite ones to hike in for day hikes. If we're going any more than two days then my top pick is going to be these Order Vox even in the summertime. If I had to pick one and couldn't take them both um, I would go Order Vox because they're going to be the most comfortable, they're going to be most order control and there's not any wedgies. And they're cute. If you have any shorts that you've tried hiking and you think that they'd be a better option than what I've done, please leave a comment below so I can try them out. I hope this helps you choose which ones you'd like best for this hiking season and saves you a little bit of money. Thanks for watching.